Hello and welcome to Voice of the Coast. A couple of deviations from the normal show. I'm Chris Hunter, obviously in the place of Danica Foley. And the other one? Well, the music, you just heard it. And that tells you that the Marines are back. The Marines are here. Chief Warrant Officer Eric Kind, the head, the head of the Marine Forces Reserve Band in New Orleans, is, is uh, our, our guest on set. Good and morning. This is the... This is our Woodwind Quintet. Woodwind so the Quintet. Marine Forces Reserve Band's Woodwind Quintet, led by Staff Sergeant Anthony Kim on the bassoon, for those of you that might be wondering what instrument that is <laughs> over there. <laughs> All right, we're going to hear a lot more from them as well as have them all introduce themselves uh, a little later in the show. But they're here because, yep, the Marines are coming back. Uh, the annual Christmas concert, uh, we used to call it Santa Meet Sousa. Now it's just uh, the concert for Toys for Tots coming up December 7th, Tuesday at the Municipal Auditorium. Uh, 7 p.m., is that That's right? That's right, uh, yep. That's right, all right. We are so glad to have y'all back uh, after missing out a year uh, due to COVID. And um, as much as we hated not having you here, I know that the, the, the whole COVID ride was extremely rough for you guys. Yeah, you know, it's really tough because a lot of these guys, this is what they signed up to, to, to do. I enlisted so that way I can play my instrument, travel out there, and play for all these audience. So we're so glad to be back and on the road again and doing these things. In fact, earlier this year, we played at a tattoo, uh, a military marching show in Norfolk, Virginia, and we just got back from the University of Central Florida. So uh, these guys are hitting the ground running, and we're ready to prep up a really nice show for everybody on, on the 7th. Join the Marines and see the world. That's right. <laughs> How long have you been uh, with this particular band? With this unit, I've been uh, here for a little over two years now. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Morgan City concert has a, a really special place in my heart. It's one of the really first big things that I did with this band here. So totally let down that we weren't able to do it last year, but absolutely pumped that we get to do this thing again uh, on the 7th. So you came in and, and you found out kind of quickly that there's, there's a special relationship between this band and this community. What, uh, what was your experience like uh, the first time you came here? Uh, I, I really was not prepared for it. You know, the St. Mary League, uh, uh, sorry, the St. Mary Detachment of the Marine Corps League, uh, they really welcomed us in with open arms. They were great, so hospitable, and uh, they really pumped the concert well. Of course, coming out here and talking, you all helped out uh, a bit too but it was a packed audience. In fact, it was standing room mm -hmm. only. So we're really looking for a repeat of that this coming uh, winter time. All right, now normally this tour is mm, five or six dates, I believe, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to do that this year. That's right. For this year, uh, we're only gonna be playing the Morgan City show on the 7th, and on the following day, we'll be out there in Slidell. Uh, so keeping it short and sweet, uh, but it gives us more energy to really put forth a great show on those evenings because hey, there's no repeats, no take backs. You right. know, really make it bring you hard. So. And, and, and I should mention one thing that will be different this year as far as uh, uh, KWBJ's coverage. We will be taping as we always do and preparing it for um, uh, a, a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day playback. But this year we're going to be live as well on the KWBJ Live YouTube channel. Uh, so you'll be able to watch it there if you can't actually make it out to the show. It's not going to stay. We're not going to leave it there because there are, there are musical copyright issues involved uh, there. So we're not going to be able to leave it up the way we leave other shows. But you will be able to watch it live from home. But we'd much rather have you at the concert, uh, you know, because the auditorium is just such a, uh, a fantastic venue. Is, it, is that typical of what y'all get to play when y'all play things like this? Yes, absolutely. You know, when we get out there and we're in the auditorium surrounded by people, there's a certain vibe of, you know, the Marine Corps that you get there and it's like, wow, it's so great to see us in person. But we understand, you know, some people may not be able to check it out in person. So if you check the YouTube live as well, that's just mm -hmm. another opportunity. Maybe some folks that are having a hard time going out this time of year, so. And I, and I tell you what we want to do right now. I want to give uh, the, the band some additional time uh, to play a little, a little more time than, than normal. We're going to take a break right now. Um, and this is a normal break. So when we come back, we're going to hear a piece from, from the band. So stay with us. Voice of the Coast continues.
Beautiful. You'll have a much larger audience than just me on December 7th, I promise you guys. Welcome back to Voice of the Coast, Chris Hunter, doing it for Danica Long, uh, Danica Foley Long, Chief Warrant Officer Eric Kine of the, uh, the uh, Marine Force Reserve Band, New Orleans. And I tell you what, let's, let's let them, leaders, let's swing your camera back around, please. And I'd like the band members to introduce themselves if we could. We'll just go left or right and let them all introduce themselves. Absolutely. So go ahead. Good morning. I'm Sergeant Anthony May. I'm from Centerville, Virginia. Good morning. My name is Staff Sergeant Anthony Kim, and I'm from Heron Park, New Jersey. Good morning. I'm Corporal Scott Campbell, and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Good morning. I'm Corporal Edmund Kessler. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. All right. And off, uh, Warren Officer Kine is from Connecticut. I love we get a, a broad sampling of the country here. And uh, you mentioned Sergeant um, Backus. Uh, yes. Sergeant Backus. This is going to this is going to be your last show. With us, right? Yes, uh, she's transferring to California, and that's got to be one of the one of the challenges for a, a, a really any unit is that you constantly got people shuffling in and out. How how hard it, or how hard is it to bring people up to speed when you when you bring them in? And you know, it is a that. challenge at first. There's always that initial friction, uh, but we have so many talented marine musicians. It's almost like a plug and play where you're expected to show up to the unit, mm -hmm. have a certain understanding, a background. Uh, it's actually one of the few jobs in the Marine Corps where they, you audition for a spot before you sign up and sign in there. Um, so a lot of these Marines knew that they're going to be Marine musicians before they even signed any paperwork. So uh, it's it's an interesting challenge, but we make it work. Yeah, how many? You, you, you talked about your first time coming to Morgan City. Do you have a lot of first timers uh, that are going to be here on December seventh? Oh yeah, uh, I, I can prepare them a little bit, but I don't think they're going to expect the uh, <laughs> you know the audience and the kind of energy that's provided from a, a crowd. You know, some of these Marines this is like the first few times they've been able to perform for audiences because they enlisted around you know these Corona times. Um, so we've been grounded for quite some time. But now that we're getting back and performing for audiences again, it's like a real special treat for us. All right. Once again, it is December 7th at the Municipal Auditorium. And uh, we haven't mentioned it yet. We would love uh, to, to have you uh, donate a new unwrapped toy to the cause. The admission, there's no admission fee, but that, that, that is something we love. The St. Mary uh, Detachment of the Marine Corps League will be collecting all the toys that they collect stay in this area. And, and generally, that has not been... Uh, a, a difficult uh, cause for the people of this area. Right. The, the donations are great. Yes, in fact, uh, they had a pretty fairly successful event, uh, a biker event, where they collected quite a few toys. But this is really where they get a lot of the toys for the folks. So if there's ever been a time for need, I think it's around these times now. So uh, any donation would be really appreciated for them. Very good. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more of the Marine Band, more of Voice of the Coast. Welcome back to Voice of the Coast. Chris Hunter filling in for Danica Foley Long, and we are talking about the Marine Corps Band Christmas concert coming up December 7th at the Municipal Auditorium. Chief Warrant Officer Eric Kyle. Uh, how, what's your title with the band? How does that work? I'm the officer in the charge, also known as the, the director of the band here, uh, but I, I'm the one who gets all, uh, none of the credit. I try to give the credit to the <laughs> Marines, and I take the hit when things go wrong. So, Okay. Uh, the concert, once again, is on December 7th. Um, and, uh, okay, there it is. Uh, the the uh, admission is free. Uh, your donation of a new unwrapped toy is appreciated uh, for Toys for Tots. If you cannot make it into the auditorium, we will be live on the KWBJ Live Facebook page, but it, excuse me, the KWBJ Live YouTube channel. Uh, however, it will not uh, stay up live. We'll leave it up to live maybe uh, for an hour or so after the concert, but we will not, we'll not be able to leave it up there perfectly, uh, permanently uh, due to copyright issues. Uh, so... Here we go, and you wanted to mention uh, y'all uh, have a yes, Facebook page as well. we do. We have some social media out there for folks. Uh, if you can find us on Facebook at Marine Forces Reserve Band, I know it's a mouthful, so uh, you can actually just type in at MFR Band, uh, and same as Instagram as well. So if you want to keep in touch with the band, see how we're doing, and look out for further concerts. So, okay. Let's talk a little bit about the program uh, sure. you're going to be doing on December 7th. We've seen so many different styles of, of, of program 
uh, from this band, uh, anything ranging from skits to uh, straightforward music to a little bit of novelty pieces. What, what, do, we, what do we have in store for us? Uh, well, we're going to have a little bit of everything for everybody. Uh, you know, music aficionados, people that just want to go out and have a good time and listen to some great Christmas tunes. I don't like giving away too much. I like the element of surprise a little bit. Uh, but there will be some singing, uh, maybe uh, not too much of dancing. And <laughs> I know the big thing, I, I will mention this, uh, two years ago, my biggest piece of feedback was, hey, we want to see the drum line do their thing again. So we're bringing that back again for this year. The, the drum line is always popular. I know we did a, um, last year because of COVID, we did kind of a um, uh, a, a review, yes. sort of, with uh, clips from all different years, and mm -hmm. I had to include three or four drumline pieces <laughs> in that, uh, just because I know the people love it. And yes, I love it too. You know, absolutely, that's so cool. Tell you what, um, still got a, a few minutes left, but I tell you what, we, we it's about the music today. So absolutely, we're gonna spin the cameras around. We're gonna let the band play us out to the next break. So let's take it uh, with the uh, the Woodwind Quintet. Have at it. Welcome back to Voice of the Coast. We are talking about the United States Marine Corps Reserve. Actually, United States is a part of the official title. Marine right. Forces Reserve Band New Orleans. Christmas concert coming up December 7th here at the Morgan City Municipal Auditorium. Chief of, uh, Warrant Officer Eric Kine, mm -hmm. uh, a Connecticut native, right. uh, but a transplanted New Orleanian now. You've been <laughs> with the band for a couple of years. Uh, and I know there are a few people that have been with the band uh, for a few years, including Staff Sergeant uh, Kim over there, right? That's right. In fact, uh, out of our audience today, or uh, we're the audience, I guess, uh, <laughs> Staff Sergeant Kim and Sergeant Backus are the only two that have actually been here a couple of years ago when we did mm -hmm. the auditorium. So this is going to be the first time for some of these Marines over here. And if you could remember two years ago when we performed, there was that one, you know, hulking Marine that gave some, uh, some you know, command and drill at the beginning of the event. That was actually Staff Sergeant uh, Kim over there, too, okay. giving the commands. He's a former drill instructor, uh, so we needed somebody with, like, a great voice that could really resonate. So, right. Who does the conducting during these concerts? Uh, it'll be myself as well as our enlisted conductor, Staff Sergeant Amanda Cranendonk. Uh, she actually just came here not too long ago from the Marine Forces Pacific Band in Hawaii, mm -hmm. uh, but we're just really glad to have her on our team, and uh, there's going to be a lot of great music. Moving around like that, we talked about how difficult it is to, to 
to a new musician to try to throw it. Is, is it difficult for a new conductor to jump into a new band like that? Uh, you know what? It, I, I would say yes, but we have such a great group of Marines that uh, we just jump in head first and they follow and they do a great job. So it makes it very easy for, on the conductor's end. So. Of course, it's all part of the holiday season, uh, the, this concert. What, what are the holidays like for you guys? What kind of, what kind of break time do you all get? Uh, we get a pretty decent amount of uh, time off. We kind of separate some time to say, hey, please don't reserve the band during these days so these guys can get back home for Christmas. Uh, but there's always a few Marines that don't plan on going anywhere. So if something comes up that they can you know, support that. And then soon after that, we're hitting the road. We get back from our uh, little Christmas vacation and then off to Mardi Gras, off the fences. Yeah, you jump right back into Mardi Gras. And I know several, uh, several bands will help you all through Mardi Gras for the most part. But Y'all are kind of the lead band for, for Mardi Gras being stationed in New Orleans, right? That's right. We often ask uh, for a couple of units to come on out. I believe this year we'll have the Quantico Marine Corps Band as well as the Second Marine Aircraft Wing Band from North Carolina come out to, to help us support, handle all these performances that we've got to do, get to as many people as we could see. Um, and yes, uh, of course, being from Louisiana, Mardi Gras is our thing, and we get out there and <laughs> perform for everybody. And they, they expect a, a great show, and so yeah. we give them one. Okay, uh, we are just about out of time, so let's remind you one more time, December 7th to 7 o'clock, uh, Marine Force Reserve Band at the Municipal Auditorium. Uh, we would appreciate you bringing a new unwrapped toy uh, for Toys for Tots. They all stay here in this area. Warren Officer Khan, thank you so much uh, for being here and bringing thank the you. quintet with us. And uh, let's have uh, the, the, the Marines take us out to the end. Take it away, guys. <laughs> 